people might say, are we crossing over from the whole idea of science to theology when we're talking about near-death experiences? But I don't think that's your intention necessarily. We're talking about the scientific aspect here as well, right? Yes, we are, and uh, definitely uh, there is a, a good deal of science and a good deal of medicine that's involved in it. Um, you know, there are really several excellent studies uh, that have been done. Bruce Grayson's studies are very good. The Samuel Parnia study from 2014 at uh, the, the University of Southampton uh, is an excellent study in England there. Uh, that was 2016 patients over multiple hospitals. Uh, around Europe and England. Uh, that's a very good. Uh, Dr. Pim von Lommel's uh, study that was published in The Lancet is also a, a very, very fine study. And that one um, is about a 2001 to 2003 study. And uh, again, multiple hospitals uh, over the Netherlands and, uh, and England. And then there are a variety of other studies that have been done. Uh, Janice Holden's study is very good. And uh, they're actually in a book I wrote called called The Soul's Upward Yearning. Uh, if you read chapter mm -hmm. five there, uh, mm -hmm. you'll see um, uh, uh, you know, a, a lot of references to about 15 different uh, very, very fine studies that have been done either at a university or at several hospitals, uh, you know, published in peer-reviewed journals and uh, with really good uh, mm -hmm. you know, scholarly and research apparatus. So there, there's quite a bit of scientific uh, uh, you know, control, uh, medical control, right and peer-reviewed.